Hello oh, and welcome. Today we've got this Dewalt 5 ampere battery. Showing no bars. You put it in the charger. It's giving us absolutely nothing. Try it in this unpack driver, for example. It's not even lighting the LEDs. No. Got nothing there. If you have a battery like this, I'm going to show you what you do to fix it. First thing you do is hook it up to the meter. Plus and minus. And it says there we're getting 6.5 volts, which for an 18 volt battery and 20 volt when it's fully charged is not a lot. So we're going to open it and see what's going on inside. With the battery open now with the top off anyway. And the first thing to check for is under here. Sometimes this little connection burns out. Usually that would cut all power coming out of the battery, but that's not what's happening here. The terminals aren't that clean, but they're probably not problematic. So no broken connections at the top of the battery. You can connect you can check these little boys here, these little guys. As you see if you see anything broken, everything looks fine there at the top. So the next step is to just get it out of the casing. And that's it out of the casing now. And the next thing you do is go around the sides and make sure that these are all attached. Sometimes you can get spot welds that have broke away and have let go. And they can look like they're attached to you. Give them a little try. You know. But this one seems to have be fully attached anyway. <clears throat> the next thing is to check the individual banks of cells. Again with a voltmeter. This bank's reading 3.6. 3.6. Nothing. 3.6 and 3.6 so what's wrong here is the middle bank of cells has given up so we need to do cell replacement just replace those two in the middle and we should be good to go the next part of the process is to pop these two cells out this is where you need to be careful I use a wee sharp screwdriver just to break those spot welds off. And we can get them slid out then. There we are. That's the two out now. now as you can see, two of them are showing virtually nothing there. So completely dead, completely kaput. So what I intend to do is replace them with these ones. These are a slightly different brand. I think the ones that they got were Sanyo. But I think these are LG. Same output. They're, they're 2500 milliamp cells, just like the ones in the pack. One's 3.85, one's 3.66. They will balance each other out when I join them together and there won't be too much cell imbalance. So we should get nearly full charge when we put these on. That's them in place now. So all we've got to do is join them to the original cells, join the pack together. I'm going to show you how to do this now.
So that's our pack all connected up with the aid of our DIY spot welder and our soldering iron to connect the wee balancers. So we'll get it back into the casing and see what we have. That's it all back together and it's showing two bars now which is very very promising. So I'm going to do a volt check and then we're going to try it on the charge. So we've got 18.17 volts. That's a good chargeable voltage. That's what you would expect. So let's get it in the charger to see what we have. Have we something that will charge or not? charging so that's going to take a bit of time now so we'll leave it here and we'll come back to it later some time has passed now we've got a solid red light on the charger which means a fully charged battery we've got the three bars and that we check the voltage we've got 19.7 which is not surprising, um, it didn't quite reach the 20 volts because we'll have a little bit of cell imbalance with the two cells that I put on not exactly matching in voltage but uh, that's good enough for me for a country fix to be honest Try it on the impact driver, see how it does I'm calling that fixed um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos. That's how you fix a old battery.